What are your, your top priorities if elected to the Senate? And whose turn is it? Is Senator Garza? My, my priorities have, have always been to, to be responsive to the people that I represent. As we continue to look at, at the tax issue, that's something I, that has to be a continued priority is to, to look into at our levels of spending, to look at a fair tax system. And, and I think we do have some more work to do to, 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 to get there, but I think we have a tremendous foundation with what we've done this year. But I think jobs and the economy uh, have to be the next, if not the, the, the top thing in the next four years. And to, to secure jobs and to develop your economy, you can't do it without looking at your education system. I think the graduation rates that we have seen published in, uh, just recently are unacceptable in the state, absolutely unacceptable. You know, we can say, well, the testing is not fair, no child left behind has deficiencies, and that's all probably true. But nonetheless, our graduation rates are not what they need to be. We need to make education a top priority, and with education, when people value education, when families value education, then you're going to attract better jobs and your economy is going to be improved. So I hope we see a huge focus, tremendous focus on education. From an environmental standpoint, I intend to spend a lot of time working on water issues. And, and I'm not talking right now about water quality. That continues to improve. But I'm talking about the availability of water. Water availability is the next big environmental crisis in this country. And and other states are looking to Indiana and some of the, the Great Lakes states because we have great water resources. We can't let that happen and, and working on water issues is something that's going to be extremely important. I'll take two minutes. Very good. Um, uh, some of the goals I, I've set out as uh, if I am uh, fortunate enough to be elected. Uh, achieve a higher ranking and grade for environmental issues. I just, uh, while I do know we disagree on uh, the exact wording uh, or the, the idea on the Forbes uh, article, I still believe that we can do better. Indiana always has done great in this area, but I just, that's an area I'd like to take a little higher. Uh, I would like to work on the, the uh, what I perceive as the unfair taxation of businesses, rentals, and farmers. Uh, negotiate reasonable and fair guidelines for confined feeding operations and stop the oversaturation of the market. Uh, I would like to see affordable health care for all Hoosiers. Um, how we achieve that is certainly needs to, needs to be tried. Uh, basic human and work rights for all Hoosiers. Uh, and again, uh, another area that uh, uh, Senator Gard and I agree on is uh, the education. Education for our children is, should be a, one of our highest priorities, and this dropout rate has got to be fixed. And that, I think, is going to have to come through some sort of state inter interference saying that if you don't do this, maybe you're not going to get quite the uh, even more uh, restrictions on jobs that you can even get when you don't even have an education. Um, so I believe, and I also believe that uh, in this ever-evolving uh, work market that we also need to have education for the older folks. Uh, those folks that have been uh, losing their jobs because of a transition or the evolving uh, work market. I think we need to come up with some sort of great education program for them as well. So, uh, like I say, I think uh, Beverly Gard and I uh, do agree on a lot of things. It's just a matter of who you trust to take it to the next level.